And only the strongest came the morning presentations. Uh, our first, uh, our first speaker for today, uh, we all know he's the symbol of freelance translation in Ukraine. I know that after his presentations, everybody will die to become a freelancer. Good morning. One more thing I know about my reputation, thanks. And okay, uh, everybody knows me as the guru, as a freelance guru, as the sensei in translation, or the way uh, Catherine Rapsova named me. On the other hand, Stanislav Kalinuk always calls me a troll, but a positive uh, one uh, who try, uh, is trying constantly to uh, lead the translators astray. Because from the perspective of an agency, the agency has to be something uh, f like the sun in the sky for the translator. And uh, I say that this is not quite the case. And I'm going to, uh, I want to thank you for uh, still keeping the interest for my presentations and I'm happy to uh, welcome you here and uh, I hope to see you sometime again and I hope to uh, prove that my, uh, all my reputations are true. We're going to talk about certification uh, today uh, and the perspective will be uh, about diversification and uh, diversification uh, as, a, uh, as a way to increase the number of your income sources. Uh, the uh, idea came up uh, uh, just uh, by chance, I got a letter from an Australian colleague with inviting me to uh, participate in uh, a comp a compiling and writing a book uh, named Diversification in the Language Industry. The uh, underlay it was the, as follows. Uh, diversification today can be a good way to increase uh, your income and in some cases also to survive. I hope we are not really talking about survival, uh, but still uh, I thought this idea to be very exciting and I was happy to accept it and the book uh, was really good. Uh, if you haven't read it, I really recommend it. It's not cheap, but it's worth uh, that uh, because it's got a lot of interesting and useful uh, ideas in it. And I was, uh, it, made, it also made me happy because uh, the diversification subject was uh, somehow uh, rang the bells uh, in terms of uh, being uh, in, uh, in alignment with my own ideas and actions. And I think you will understand why uh, we can talk uh, about whether or not we have to, we should uh, look at the diversification as such. We can uh, cite, uh, we can quote a, a number of reasons. I will offer you three of them, the first one being philosophical. So let's say our perception of the reality is based on our experience, first of all. But uh, we uh, face a kind of contradiction where, uh, as, uh, where we choose uh, uh, the foundation of the building uh, 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 in which we exist, meaning the reality. Uh, we choose uh, the past uh, as the foundation, but we want to live uh, in this building in the future. I think uh, each of you has uh, at some, uh, at some point uh, felt uh, that when you started doing something, as you grow, uh, as you grow and as you get, get more experience, you start doing something better and better. Uh, and uh, all of a sudden, you get worse at it, even though you, get, you have the experience. What's the reason? The reason is uh, 